Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid, the all-in-one distribution and promotion tool that you need to release your music. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the monster that is Analog Lab. Hey everyone, it's JP. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before and you wanna learn all about music tech and looping, start now by clicking the subscribe button, hit that bell, and you won't miss anything. So Artoria's Keylab Mark II is a fantastic keyboard, and if you haven't seen the video I made on that, I'll pop that in the cards now so you can go back and watch it. But also, with Artoria's Keylab comes the fantastic piece of software called Analog Lab. Now in its fourth generation, Analog Lab is a game changer when it comes to finding the right sound you want. You've been there, you've gone through loads of presets, you've gone through loads of tweaking and everything else, and the moment has gone when you've got that rhythm or you've got that thought or you've got that melody in your head. Analog Lab was designed to take that pain away. You may have loads of different sounds, loads of different presets, and what this can do is Analog Lab is a little bit like a shell which you can actually load those presets into from Autoria. So today, I'm gonna to take you through Analog Lab and show you the user interface and show you how it works and the really clever parts that it comes with. In the description box below, I will put chapters in so you can dive into the bits you wanna learn. So what you're gonna to need to do is download Autoria's Software Center, which is this one right here. If you go to Autoria's website and have a look for Autoria Software Center, or if you buy one of the keyboards, it has documentation of how you download it. Now during this video, please be aware, I've got a couple of other packs from Autoria and they will be fed into Analog Lab. So I may have more presets than you would normally get if you just bought Analog Lab. So the first thing we need to do is then launch Autoria Software Center. When you do that, it'll show you the products that you've got and then what you can do is go to Keylab Mark II, for example. This is bundled in with the Keylab, which is amazing, or you can buy it separately and then just download Analog Lab. You download it all here. There's normally a download button here and then it'll install itself. If you've got any other packs, any other products from them, you can download them as well and you can add them in uh, straight into your computer. Once that's done and you've downloaded it, launch Analog Lab and the first thing it'll do is take you through a welcome tutorial. But then what I wanna show you is a couple of nice tweaks and the reasons why they've put them in there. If you have an Autoria Key Lab or any of the other controllers that has a dedicated Analog Lab option, this one has an Analog Lab button straight on the top. So if you click it, it will actually remap all the MIDI and all the settings. So the knobs, the faders and everything else work directly with Analog Lab. Now if you have a normal MIDI controller that you're using with your computer, that's absolutely fine. So it will work with it no problem. It plays really, really well with every kind of MIDI controller. Now the user interface looks something like this. So in the top left hand corner we've got the Analog Lab logo but also that is a menu. So if we go onto that you can have a look at presets, import them, export them, create a new one, you can resize this window, we can go to the audio MIDI settings of your computer and then also there are the tutorials. There is a welcome tutorial and a concert tutorial. I'll talk about the concert bit in a minute. There's the help and the user manual itself and FAQs and of course about. Then underneath that, we've got a first search engine. So with the search engine where you can just type anything in. So I'm literally gonna just type in organ. So I can filter by organ. And then what that's done is it's whittled it down. So we've got filter by synths, pianos, organs, or multi. It's just doing it under synths. I can do it under organ as well. I can do it under either. I can just say no to that and we can have the full amount of range of instruments that we have. Now, if you've got other packs from Autoria, they will come up in here because that's the way it works. So I could go just straight for the B3, and then I can go to types. I could say, well, I want just organ, and then it's come up with one, that's fine. So out of the six and a half thousand you get when you get Analog Lab, it just gives you that one. So if I click on that, this is actually two different sounds, which is the P-Jazz and the Club. And this is from the B3 and the CS80. And these have been paired together as a what they call a multi-instrument. So you've got at the bottom here, we've got the play area and we can use this. And this is where the Artoria keyboards come really into their own because everything in blue here actually corresponds to everything on here. And it's really, really nicely laid out. So part one is the P-Jazz and part two is the Club. And you can see on the right hand side there you've got the preset itself and I'm going to go into this in a minute. Let's have a look at the playability. So we've got the pitch mod and the mod and you can see that they're moving as I play with them and then we've got the part one and the part two and then you can see here where it says part one and part two if I play and I play part two you've got audio coming through and you've got a live stroke mixer which is nice. Underneath that, these nine knobs and nine faders correspond to what's on the screen. So it's really, really easy to understand. Now that's it. 
in the sense of playability, but we can go much deeper than that. We can peel back another layer and another layer, and I can show you how far the rabbit hole really goes. So you've got thousands of presets with Analog Lab 4, and you could make loads of different songs with that. What are you going to do with those songs? Well, that's where today's sponsor comes in, which is DistroKid. DistroKid is a distribution company where you hand your songs to them, and then what they do is they push it out to all the online stores and online streaming services. You can get your songs up to places like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Pandora, Tidal, and over 150 more stores and online streaming services straight away. Now, the clever part with DistroKid is unlike paying per release or paying for one song, five songs, 10 songs, 100 songs, 1,000 songs, you only pay one price per year and you can upload as much as you like. Now they have a couple of different tiers. So if you're just one musician or one band, then you have one tier where you can just do that straight away. You can do it where you've got two bands, which is Musicians Plus. And if you're looking after say a couple of bands or you're using a label, they have a label option as well. DistroKid have some really cool features like Hyperfollow. Hyperfollow is where you release a track or an EP or an album and it's one landing page, which A, you can get your customer's email address for if they pre-save and B, they choose what streaming service they want to hear your track on. So instead of having the Spotify link, but they don't listen on Spotify, they listen on Tidal or you have the Apple Music link, but they listen on Amazon Music. You can actually just send them to that one page and they decide where they listen to your music. Another great tool is the Meme Video Generator, which is a bit of fun, but it's really cool for promotional work. Just okay, I've got a couple of cool videos which you can use, for example, Marcel from Friends and you can even use Baby Yoda as well as part of your promotional tool. To have an account with DistroKid is $19.99 per year, which is a phenomenal price. But what we've done is we've teamed up with DistroKid to give you 7% off your first year's annual membership, no matter which tier you go for. So even if you go for the label tier, you'll get 7% off that as well. There is a link that's on the screen now, and it's going to be in the description box below. So give it a click, and that will give you the 7% off. Big thanks to DistroKid for sponsoring this video, and click the link, and you're going to get your discount straight away. I've just brought up one synthesizer fact now, which is the Prophet 5, and this is a pad which is called Fascination. So to load up another patch from somewhere else, I'd have to close down one piece of software and load up another. Analog Lab is a little bit like a shell that has everything that Arturia does in it. So what I can do is I can go to Astral Voices and straight away this is brought up the Jupiter 8. And how quick was that? I didn't need to close this down. I didn't need to then suddenly bring up another piece of software. It's just brought that pack straight in. So this is the modular, and this is also from the factory as well. Now, let's say I like this, but it's not quite how I want it, but I want sounds that are similar to that. So you can see here, we've got the results here. So I'm playing with this one, and it's a sequence. And then you've got this. If I click on this right now, what it'll do is it'll start recommending certain sounds that sound similar to it. And this is a really cool thing, as opposed to scrolling through A to Zs, or you can basically go, oh, let's just look at all the pads. Pads can be really, really different. So let's have a look at this. Now that recommendation list doesn't just limit itself to that one pack, it looks at all the packs inside Analog Lab. So literally one step down, I've now got the CZ on. I can go right down to the square. Go right up to here for the DX7. So I can find something that's very similar and it can start recommending things that are very close to it and then I can start picking what I want. So the next part of this feature I want to show you is on the right hand side. So you can see there the presets. So we've got the American piano. You can see where the designer was, the standard, and you can get less information. You just leave it like that. There's a couple of things we can do here and this again goes into another level. So we can add effects and we can add things that like we've got a send A and a send B. We can add a couple of things in here. So we've got things like chorus, flange, phrase, delay, reverb. So adding that into the mixer that goes with this preset. Now the other thing you can do is you can go into what's called instrument view. So if you want to go a little bit deeper into this, we can actually click the pencil on the icon 
and then this will bring it in. This has loaded up the user interface in its own independent pack. So this is the uh, one where I can start messing around with the microphones. I can make mess around with the room setup, which is really, really cool. If I get out of here and I just go to another one, let's just go to sync sequence and that's the ARP 2600. If I click on that, we're actually gonna start loading that up as well. And we can start messing around with that without ever leaving Analog Lab. Now, if you wanna control something really specifically, so we've got this sound here. <laughs> You can see at the bottom we've got the controllable areas. I've got things like cutoff, resonance, we've got LFO amount, and that's most of what people will need. But if you wanna really, really specifically control something, you can click assign. When you click assign, it's just MIDI mapping, but it's making it really, really simple. Now, depending on which instrument you play with, they can have different kind of looks, and I'm gonna show you that now. So there's extra things you can do with that preset. It can let you know. So if we go into this one where it says open instrument view, so if there's an instrument which you can then start playing around with, or it's got different versions within that instrument, you can start going even deeper. So this one's called Sheeps. And on the top right hand corner, you can see it says stage. If you click on that, we've also got suitcase model. To the right of that, you can see two little arrows. So if I click on that, what it does is it takes the lid off. And we've got things like third boost. We can play around with the tuning, the dynamics, and also the velocity curve. You can go quite deep into it, and then you can go even further and really customize how this sounds. And that's one preset. So to get out of this, there's an X on the right-hand corner. We just click that, and we're back to the beginning. Now let's say I'm gonna take this preset, which is called Sheeps, and we're gonna use this, but I want something extra on top. So this is a single preset, and what we can do is we can make a multi-preset. So with the pencil, you may have noticed on the right-hand side here, there's a plus, and we can convert it to multi. When we do this, it pushes it to one side, and it says load preset on part two. So I'm gonna use Shifty, so we've got Shifty Sheeps. So Shifty is a Mellotron, I'm gonna use that with the stage piano, and we're gonna start playing it. <laughs> What we've done is we've created two different parts, and that's really, really clever and really powerful. You can see the parts are really easily identifiable. So Sheeps is in this orange color, and Shifty is in the green color. And this is part one and part two. This is represented down here. So part one, this is all the bits that to do with Sheeps. So even though we've got Shifty selected, I'm on part one right now. And I can play with the hammer of Sheeps without affecting Shifty at all. And then we can go into part two and have a look at Shifty. So the master tone. It's a Mellotron, so you can change the pitch and mess around with it. So if I do mess around with any of the controls here, and uh, they're on here as well, I can mess around with this. So I'm playing around with Shifty's master pitch right now. And then we can play around with the master tone. And in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see what it's saying. So part two, master tone, and then the value, which is really handy. Now at the moment, both parts are playing across the whole keyboard, and we can change that. So maybe I only want uh, sheeps to be in the bottom half and shifty to be in the top half. And we can change that by going to keyboard settings, which is just here. When you click that, this gives you your range and you can change the range if you want to. So with sheeps, I wanna bring this down. I can just drag that down and we can do that straight away. And you can see the representation of the orangey color, uh, which is changing. Let's put that onto uh, A sharp two, that's fine. We'll put Shifty on B2. So you can now see a clear representation from the orange and the green. So. Now some sounds you want to play together, maybe you want a piano with some strings underneath it, and there are presets that are already multi and already like that. But if you wanna create your own, that's fine. Now you can change the octave of stuff as well. So if I wanna change, this is quite low now. I can change the octave by one. And you can very quickly play two instruments really, really nicely. So. It just shows you the basics that you need to get going. You can go, as I say, deeper into it. Now, let's just say I really like this now. I like the way it is. I like this as a preset. I can click the keyboard settings to get rid of it. And then right next door, 
is save as. So I can save it as a brand new thing. I can call it something else completely. I can change everything about it, what bank it's going into, what kind of type of uh, thing it is, whether it's processed or not. You can even add the style and even add your own comments. So the great thing about the comments is you can use this to your advantage. You can say, use this for the track called I Love You. And then in the search, you can just put up I love you and the preset will come up. So if you create a load of tracks or a load of presets, or you just go, I love that preset, I wanna use that in one of the tracks, click save as, change the comments or add in the comments the name of the track, and then you can start searching for it straight away when you wanna come back to it. The new part of Analog Lab 4 is concert. And that's also what these three little dots are. You can add the preset to a concert and we have on the left hand side, you'll see this yellow concert. Loads of people use things like this and they wanna use it live, but you don't wanna be messing around with the sounds too much. You still want a little bit of control, but you don't wanna um, mess around with those or you might want them in a very specific order. So what Arturia have done is they've created concerts. So we've got a demo one here. This is a demo concert. So we've got song one, piano and keys. We've got piano and then we've got there. We've got all these different keys and stuff. Then we've got song number two and we need, might need to change over for these different songs and then song number three. These are all in order and these are all in a specific order. We can just create a new song and create a different preset per song and we can just go onto stage. So we can have a look at a concert. We can export a concert. We can import a, con a concert. So I'm working on my iMac right now. I'm not gonna bring this on stage. But let's just say if I've got a portable Mac, I can actually export that out to another device. Or let's say we've got this going into someone else's device and they've created a preset they really like, they can actually take it with them. Now, if we click go on stage, then what this does, it'll load the preset and erase the current one you're with. So if you haven't saved that, make sure you do. So let's just click to go on stage. So we'll go on stage right now, and then this is our first preset. Really nice and simple. It shows you which ones are lit up for the controls so you know which ones you can use and. And then when we go to the next one. Now what's really cool about this is that all the presets are loaded up and ready to go. So we can go straight over to that one. And it's really quick. So also what you've got as well is you've got part one, you can obviously do multi parts if you want to, and then you've got effects. So you've added in the effects already. So you can build this up so it's ready to roll. This reminds me of main stage where you've got uh, the sounds from Logic and then you've got main stage which can actually bring this up on board. But it's actually a lot simpler because the keyboard works with Analog Lab and integrates with it. So anything in blue is there, but obviously it changes what it says on the screen. It's a really, really nice thing and it shows you the effects and also a master have got a parametric EQ there for example so this demo concert as it shows we've got loads of different bits here let's go into the 80s duo split so this is a two-part one there's actually drums on one side and it's actually a bass on the other if I click over to the next one straight away it changes everything so as you can see analog lab is really really expansive but also it's really simplistic to begin with all you need to do is find a preset that you like you can find a smart recommendation you can add more stuff from Artoria's massive library of sounds they've got lots of stuff they've recreated they've got stuff from the 60s the 70s 80s there's loads and loads of stuff and beyond and there's things like for example I have pigments too so I can just go straight into pigments through this or I can load it up on a DAW if I save a preset in analog lab and then I go to pigments independently that preset is going to be there it's a really clever system that makes sure that you get in straight into creativity as much as possible without twiddling around if you want to do that though but if you want to go really really deep into playing with LFOs and playing with the sounds and the way they're created you can do that and you can do that directly in analog lab without having to then go out and load things like 
pigments for example or load piano v2 or um, synthopedia or anything like that you can do this all in here and just get in with playing straight away if you found the content of this video useful then give it a thumbs up that really helps me and it really helps the channel grow if you've got any questions regarding this please put it in the comments section below also if you want to support the page a little bit further you can do you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com all the links are in the description box below thank you very much for watching we'll see you on the next one